remember one day as a child lying in this long grass and it was so long I could hide in it from my mum. <laughs> uh, some of my most cherished memories are to do with my, my grandparents. The fact that burn societies exist in Commonwealth countries other than Australia, you see, that, you know, that needs to be publicised a bit more. So I was lying in this long grass hiding and I was looking up and there they were, the poppies. We used to go and visit our grandparents in the countryside and when you get there, everything that you embellish yourself with, when you reach there, it becomes useless. <laughs> up higher than me because I was lying flat, swaying in the wind. And I remember just looking at these poppies thinking it was the best thing I'd ever seen. That's, I think that's one of my earliest memories. I could only be in about two, three. There is a bird society in, in Kingston, Jamaica. There are ones in Africa. I'm, I know there are ones in, in Nigeria. Uh, so it's, you know, people may not know this, but, you know, uh, obviously for Jamaica, it's a very close connection. Because you've got your, you're wearing your trainers or your shoes, so you now start and dressing those kind of uh, extra layers that you probably don't really need. It's like a, it's like a reversal of the value of those trainers because when you get there, you now feel they've lost their value. Um, it doesn't always take much to, to enrich my life, I think. Um, music is a big one. Uh, music, uh, uh, playing music, but also listening to music and listening to other people playing music. Um, Bira music is, uh, is the music of uh, my ancestors. There is a perception that it's supposed to be an echo back to the earth. 